This lecture is on techniques of microbiological sampling. Why is it important to use correct technique when taking a sample? Well, firstly, microbiological testing is expensive and we need to keep the yields as high as possible. That means taking an appropriate sample with appropriate volumes so it's more likely to be positive. And it also means keeping contamination as low as possible so that we don't get false positive results that can be confusing. And this means taking samples in the most appropriate way. In this lecture, we're going to look at five different samples. The midstream urine, catheter stream urine, aspiration of collections, pus swabs, and blood cultures. To begin with the midstream urine, the first thing you need to do is provide the patient with an appropriate container, which might be a simple sterile pot or a device such as this to help women collect samples properly. You also need to provide the patient with some gauze and some sterile water. This can be substituted for soapy water from a tap if necessary. To instruct a female on how to collect an MSU, instruct her to wash her hands, to clean the vulva from front to back, spread the labia with her fingers. The first stream of urine should go into the toilet and then she should collect the sample mid flow. To instruct a male, ask him to wash his hands, to retract the foreskin and clean the glands. Again, the first stream should go into the toilet, then he should collect urine mid-flow. To collect a catheter stream urine, you must use aseptic technique using sterile gloves. First, clamp the tubing just distal to the sampling port. Wipe the sampling port with appropriate cleaning solution. Remove urine with a small gauge sterile needle and syringe. Transfer this to a sterile container. Clean the port again and unclamp the tubing. Aspiration of collections. This means removing a sample from an enclosed anatomical space. This might be through the skin in which case it's important to use aseptic technique and a pair of sterile gloves. Or it might be interoperatively when you will already be using sterile technique. Moving on to pus swabs. Wounds come in all different shapes and sizes. Here are four examples. And it's important to use appropriate technique so that we get the most representative sample of organisms. Swabs also come in many different shapes and sizes. The ideal swab for a wound culture is one with a charcoal medium in the bottom because this best preserves the organisms. To perform a pus swab, first re remove necrotic material, slough and dry exudate. Wash the wound with sterile saline. If the wound is dry, then you should moisten the tip of the swab. Then you should move the swab across the surface of the wound in a zigzag motion, rotating it between the fingers and applying a little downward pressure to remove exudate if the wound is a little dry. Performing blood cultures is very important. It must also be done with aseptic technique, utilizing a sterile pack. You must wear sterile gloves. First apply a tourniquet and select a vein and clean with chlorhexidine solution whilst allowing it to dry. Place a sterile towel over the vein site and don't touch the skin again. Take 10 mils of blood for each bottle you want to fill. Inoculate blood cultures first before using any other blood to collect other samples you may require. Label the bottles carefully. As you can see, blood culture bottles have a barcode it's important that this is not obscured by labels as it's used in the laboratory to identify bottles. The bottom of blood culture bottles has a color sensitive indicator, which is how the machine determines if the culture has turned positive. It's therefore important not to obscure these with your patient labels. Once you've taken a blood culture, send it to the laboratory quickly. So in summary, 
Correct sampling reduces false positive and false negative results. This reduces costs and is therefore a benefit to patients. Ensure samples are from appropriate sites and with appropriate volumes and ensure good aseptic technique to prevent contamination.